Hey, how you doing? Hey, good. And yourself? I'm one of the judges. So. Oh, well. You look like you're being very intense. It's very grotesque. Are you having fun? I asked her. And you're getting your hair done at the same time? <laughs> what's the concept for this? She's oh, we was just talking about that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so basically, she's going to be like a scary type speed girl that's going to be in a wheelchair her oh, okay. and her hands. Okay. Basically, like our kind of school girl outfit. Okay. Yeah, cool. kind of school girl. Blood involved? Fine. You'll see. You'll be surprised. I'm looking forward to it. Yay. Well, have fun. Uh, I will. Relax. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Is there relax? <laughs> So we will come back throughout the uh, yeah. process and okay. get some uh, progression shots as you yeah. go, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Awesome. So here we are. Um, what are you creating today? I'm creating Bride of Frankenstein. Wow. Okay. The original OG. The original version, okay. <laughs> awesome. Try my best. Well, my version and the original version. Very cool. And you're applying it on yourself, so. Yes. I had no model today, a little bit last notice, so I was like, I'll do it myself. It's Serving fine. as your own model. That's right. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Excellent. All right, well, I can't wait to see the finished product. Thanks. <laughs> we will come back in a little while and, okay. and see uh, how the progress is coming. All right. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you are creating today? Right now, I'm creating a char uh, character that I made up. Uh, his name is Slasher. It's a business guy that hates his life, hates his boss, everything. But the only thing he has is his family. But one night, his boss pissed him off and he made him stay over time. The boss ended up drinking and then driving. His wife was heading home with the kid and ended up crashing. And so, he ended up finding out the news of him, his wife dead, and his kids. So he couldn't live with his life like that. So he waited for his boss to come to the office, killed his boss. When he did that brutally, he ripped his eyes out and cut his face all up as suicide to haunt the office for anybody else that betrays somebody. Awesome. So his name's Slasher. His name's Slasher. All right, well, I can't wait to see Slasher make his debut a little bit later on. Maybe, maybe. Awesome. Well, we will come back in a little bit and uh, see some progress. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Thank you. Here we are with another one of today's contestants in the makeup effects contest. What is your name? My name is Christina. Awesome. And um, where are you from? And what can you tell us about your creation today? Um, I'm originally from New York. Um, I'm here today from Virginia. And I am... Burning him. <laughs> Burning half his face. Very nice. Yeah. So have you been doing this type okay, of makeup work that. long? I've been doing special effects for about two years. I'm completely self-taught. Um, I worked about six short films before the time I was 18. And now I just do it pretty much all the time. <laughs> Very cool. Excellent. All right, well, we will come back around in a little while and see how your progress is coming along. Absolutely. Can't wait to see. Thank you. Of
Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I'm just a hater. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But you still want to make sure that. You got the eyes going on? Man. She's already possessed. All right, we are here with Jasmine, one of this year's makeup effects artists and her lovely model here. So what can you tell us about this year's creation? I would say she's like a haunted, wicked schoolgirl, I guess you can say. She has her school books. She has a backpack as well, you just can't see it. And then, you know, the little beam and cross and the ABCs on her arms and her feet, her chest, her stomach is like falling apart. So how long did it take you to uh, complete this today all together? Oh I'll say about two hours. I'll say two hours. Very nice. Both us for the contest is at 315 so it's in a little bit. So did you have any specific in inspiration for this today or just uh... I just, no. Once she put her, like I really didn't know what I was doing today but like once she put her costume and the glasses on it just kind of just came together. Because I didn't think I was going to do that to her face at all. I came here kind of with a different idea but then I didn't feel like it was going to fit right anymore so I was just like okay let's keep it simple since it's like a lot going on with her feet. You know her stomach so I didn't want to do too much with the face because then it'll just like look like a whole bunch of just a whole bunch of mess versus you know actually looking right together. So how long have you been doing work like this? Maybe about 10 years maybe. About 10 years. Do, you, do, you, do you do it mostly for fun or and just with friends or? Uh... I would say for fun I'll do it a lot for um, Halloween events, haunted houses, things like that. Very cool, very cool. Where can people find you and see more of your work online? They can find me at, let's see, my wristbands. That's cool. This is my Instagram, my social best makeup page. That's my Facebook page. I mean, sorry, not Facebook. This is Instagram. And then I guess you can put my name. My name is exactly the same on Facebook, Jasmine. And they can find me on Facebook. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. And good luck in the contest. I can't wait uh, to see the results. Thank you. And we'll see you up there on stage. Thank you. Cool, excellent. Oh my god. Nice, get out of here. Doing? No, no, wait. Oh wow, good yeah, cheese. Is this all tissue and latex? That's your secret. There are no secrets in Mega Fest. There are no secrets. Yes, I see you. Check your edges. Uh, Check in your edges. <laughs> you can't hide it with hair. That's not going to work.
tri-ball. Nice. Trip full. Yeah, tri-ball. <laughs> oh, I broke my legs! Awesome. Yeah. Cool. How do you feel? Cool. It's the only way to shut them up, right? Oh, yeah. All right, final look at this year's contestants. All right, Chef, let's go. My name's Christina, and he's burned. He got his left side of his face and his left hand burned to the bone. <laughs> and what did you use to do this? Uh, um, I used liquid latex, tissue, and blood. <laughs> Not real blood, probably. <laughs> Alright, I'm This is, I used to feel the best school girl. I mainly use tissue, Q-tips, and cotton balls for everything. Everything, everything is was made here, um, and then of course blood. That's it. Do you make your own blood? Or do you buy? I do both. Excellent. Excellent. Hello, my name is Cassie. I did a self application today using uh, Skin Illustrator palette, the blood, and some stickers on my face. I am the Bride of Frankenstein. Cool. I agree. up actually he's a um, my own mindset of uh, yeah so <laughs> he is a business guy that has a crappy life he hates it and he has a boss that he hates but the only thing that makes him happy is his family well one night and his boss was drinking he stayed at the office doing overtime and his wife and kids were driving as well the boss hit the kid and the wife, and they got died, sadly. And he ended up doing revenge. She found out it was the boss, and he ripped his eyes out and shredded his face. And now he haunts the office. And his name is uh, Slasher. Slasher. Sorry. <laughs> cool. That was quite the backstory, wasn't it? Okay. So, my name is Gary J. Tunnicliffe. I'm a, a makeup effects artist. I did most of the Hellraiser movies. I applied Pinhead. I did Blade, Sleepy Hollow, Feast, a whole bunch of different movies uh, that you may or may not have seen. But uh, basically, I applied Pinhead for many, many years on Doug Bradley and everyone else. So, I know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm basically saying. Uh, what we've seen here is some great techniques. Um, some of it kind of out of kit, as we call it, uh, like using latex and tissue. A lot of makeup effects artists, from Rick Baker to everybody, started with latex and tissue and, and blood and out kit. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, me and Mike have discussed this. Mike's an, an effects artist as well. He worked for Rick Baker and for Spectral Motion. Um, some of the recent stuff we've worked on, you worked on Future War? Yeah. Future tomorrow, War. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow War. There's a film called Dark Harvest, which is coming out soon. A film called Play Dead, which is coming out very soon. Um, but here's how I'm going to rank it. So it's one to four, um, but I'm going to tell you why I'm picking the winner and for the reason. So the person I'm going to pick as the winner is this makeup here. Um, and the reason I'm picking it is because it's... <laughs> it's because, and uh, this is no infringement on any of you guys, but uh, to do a paint job makeup on yourself, first of all, is very difficult. And also when you're not hiding uh, anything with blood or spatter or anything, it's a textured makeup, it's got life to it, and uh, I just think it shows a level of refinement, it's kind of cool. So, um, congratulations, I think it's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Second place is this makeup here. And the reason being, I think it's a great character makeup, so. Woo! And just to let you know, the standard of all these makeups is very, very high. I'm absolutely mega impressed with all of you guys, you've all done stellar work. So it's not easy to pick, you know, one for. So to me, you're all winners. You absolutely are. If it was, I guarantee, if we had 30 other people here, that you guys would be the top, you know, top four. So I'm very, very impressed. 
but I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to go the burn makeup, and then the possessed school girl. So please don't hate me. I know you've given me that look anyway. The burn makeup is very cool. You did a great job with the burn makeup. Uh, it's feathered in. I love the hands. I think with burn makeup, since you've always got to think about how they got their burn makeup and what, where the fire came from. So would it have singed hair? How much would it have done? I know you've got a limited time, but I thought you did a great job. You've got some great textures. You did a ton of work. A ton of work. Feet, stomach, face, white sterols, everything. So absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, that's, I hope you might agree with my choices. You might not. This guy here, does he agree with me? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So as long as he's, because he looks like he might kick my ass if I get it wrong. So, are we going to present trophies? Yeah. Okay, so, Mike Regan, if you don't mind. Very hard. Congratulations. First place to Brad Second place. Second place. The, what did you call it? Slasher. Slasher businessman. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! Third place to burn. Congratulations. This is a great trophy. You know, I've never had a trophy in my life. And fourth place, the possessed Congratulations! And there we go. So, uh, congratulations. I think you guys have uh, got some cool makeup techniques here. Uh, I'd hire any of these guys to work with me, I think. So, there you go. Congratulations. I hope you guys have fun. Now, the joy of taking it all off. Yay! <laughs>